Hello guys, uh, the Good Gadgets channel is here and today I will show you how to reball the Nintendo Switch Lite processor. So I already uh, cleaned it up from surplus of uh, uh, the previous solder uh, and only one problem I have the lack of one contact but luckily it's uh, this is uh, just a ground so that's not a problem it's not important a contact so we can easily solder it out on the motherboard <clears throat> from the beginning you will need to clean it up from uh, the soldering i mean as well as processor as the motherboard so your processor needs to be clean and shiny like this one so the contacts should be also clean and shiny to make a good contact actually with the contacts on motherboard i bought an aliexpress this device this is pretty good stencil uh, which is uh, which you can use just to reball the nintendo switch processors so it consists of three parts the one is a stencil actually the support uh, for the processor uh, the other part is the magnet neodym magnet and the third part is a stencil uh, to make balls uh, soldering balls around your processor it uh, magnetic uh, it has the magnetic influence of the support the neodym magnet and uh, this is pretty good thing the price of it is like a 30 euro maybe you will buy it's for the less price uh, so what should we, we do with stencil we should clean it up with alcohol i use the isopropylic alcohol then install this stencil uh, i mean first install the support the base the magnets then the support of your processor and then stencil itself so now you will see how to it's pretty easy to place it right yeah so no problem just place it yeah and now the magnets so the magnets will hold uh, the metal stencil and it will be on the place in the process of adding the soldering paste now i finished to clean uh, the stencil and then i will use my hot air machine with 330 degrees and 30 or 40 percent of airflow so now i will use my soldering paste it's low temperature soldering paste so it will uh melting with temperature like uh, 250 or 300 uh, gradients of Celsius, not Fahrenheit, guys, Celsius. So now you will uh, mix it up uh, to make the right consistency, uh, right density of this paste, and it should be like that. You see, it's on my instrument. And then you just should uh, add your uh, soldering paste uh, paste on the stencil on every hole on the stencil and then just to heat it up and that's all the reboiling process is finished of course it's not so easy as i'm saying uh, but it, it, it actually it's easy so if you have a practice with this or even if you don't uh, practice it with this you can practice one two three times and uh, you will make it in right way so you just need to fill up the every hole on your stencil without any bubbles uh, any lefts of soldering paste it should be the surface should be uh, like on on my video <laughs> so just watch it and you will see how to make it right and yes uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe on my channel because every week I will add a new video with new interesting dye project with new repair process so it just could be actual interesting and useful for you so if 
uh, this easy for you. I think it's easy. It's only 10 seconds. So please subscribe to my channel and watch out what will happen next. You should be as accurate as it possible with your stencil and with your soldering paste, you see. So you should to clean up the surface of your stencil uh to be sure that there are no left no surplus of uh, soldering paste because it will make you a problems if you will leave some uh, soldering paste except your holes on the stencil luckily the vendor of uh, this device uh, also uh, adding uh, the special spoon or I don't know how to name this instrument you see it on the video that spread you can spread the soldering paste in the right way so you can fill every hole on the stencil without any problems so it's like microscopic accuracy and no problems at all it's like a 20 minutes and your processor already rebuild uh, the other problem of course is to place it on on its place actually and do it in the right way but uh, that's not so complicated as you can think about it a little practice and you will do everything i can do and everything i show i'm showing you on this video So, and better to pay one more three minutes uh, to be confident that uh, you did all right or all things right, uh, that you finished your process, because a little uh, error, a little problem, and you will need to uh, begin the process from the beginning. You see, the stencil should be clean at the end of the process, as clean as possible. Don't use any other instrument except this spoon. Okay, so no, no soldering paste on the surface, it's just deep in the holes of the stencil. And now you will need your airflow, uh, air, uh, hot air gun to finish the process of reboiling. As I said before, I'm uh, using it with 300-330 uh, degrees of Celsius and 30-40% of airflow. And this tip, yeah, it's like a middle tip, I don't know, you can have another air station, but it's not like, it's not like a small tip, you can use your uh, middle size tip so let's wait until the temperature will be right until the tip will heat it up and now you can use use it for melting down your soldering paste use your tweezers because the stencil could be a little bit deformed uh, by means of uh, high temperature it's not so high uh, but it could be deformed so just for to be sure that the surface will, will be flat and we will begin from the one corner of the stencil we will heat it up and then the balls will be formed from one end of stencil to another. <coughs> so I raise the temperature from 300 to 330 uh, degrees of Celsius. And now uh, you can see the soldering paste uh, will start to melt. Yeah, so it's melting and now this process is unstoppable. So when it started, you just need to heat it up a little more. There are another corners and other uh, places of your stencil.
you should form every every uh, soldering uh, ball because if you will miss some so you will need to start your process again from the beginning this device is pretty useful it's so easy you know the, uh, there are many more types of stencils it's like a direct heating stencils it's like a stencils just to spread the balls around the stencil around the chip but this is uh, unique because uh, this is used only to reball uh, the Nintendo Switch Lite processor and you can only use it for this one uh, but it's it costs its money yeah yeah so and that's all that's that's the end of it you see all the balls uh, soldering balls are almost as uh, shiny so now I will take off uh, the stencil and let's see what we have and don't forget uh, we miss uh, one contact plate uh, from on the processor it, I remember because this is a ground so it's not a problem but if you will miss another you should check it on the board view on data sheet of the processor to be sure that this ball are not important i mean this contact are not important if you will broke some contacts it's happening from time to time yeah so it's pretty easy to take it off from the stencil so now as you can see no soldering on the stencil that's a good sign and now let's see what's happening with our processor so perfect uh, the contacts, I mean, the soldering balls are not sweet and shiny as they should be, but it's pretty good. Now you need to start the new process. You need to add some soldering flux, I mean, just flux, and you need to heat it up again with the same temperature. So it will arrange the soldering balls uh, around the surface of the processor, so it will arrange it. Uh, on its places it will so you can just uh, soldering it on your motherboard even now it's more or less uh, good but we need to make the things perfect so I'm adding the flux and then I will spread the flux all around the processors surface with my brush a small brush yeah so it just I I'm using this just for this aim just to spread the flux on all over the chip okay and now let's use the hot air gun again with the same temperature 330 degrees with 30 or 30 or 40 uh, persons from airflow to melt down the soldering balls and to prepare it for soldering I mean the whole processor okay let's start Don't use very high temperature because you can uh, uh, hurt your uh, your processor. So you can deforme the surface of processor, and it will be uh, unsuitable for a boiling process. So you see uh, this missing contact, the ground. I repeat, this is ground to the next. Uh, to this contact is also ground so uh, there are a lot of ground contacts on the processors and video cards so if you will 
break one of them or two or three that's not a problem the main thing is not break not uh, hurt uh, the other one uh, which could could use to transfer the signal <coughs> so we are almost ready you see the contacts the soldering balls now are all in their places and they're nice and shiny so I hope they will contact the contact contacts on the motherboard and will easily solder in solder it out so now let's finish the process and let the processor uh, cool down so we need it yeah so we have one soldering ball could buy soldering ball so it's gone in uh, ninth dimension <laughs> and now it uh, after the processor will cool down we need to clean it up with alcohol and you need to clean it up uh, very accurate to be sure that there is no debris on the surface of the balls of uh, or on the processor itself because these debris will uh, will be obstacle in process of soldering uh, this the processor itself so the processor is pretty hot but you can see the soldering balls are all the same sizes and the, they are just perfect just they're just uh, from the factory factory quality guys so now let's use some alcohol uh, this thing will leave some debris on the surface of your processor so you will need to clean up uh, the debris and I will show you how to do it it just with cotton and that's all so let's clean the surface the of processor so here uh, we'll need uh, so the next video uh, I will show you how to install the hardware mode hardware hug uh, to your Nintendo Switch Lite uh, to be able to play any game any Switch game or Sega uh, Sega Genesis a game you can download from internet so just subscribe to my channel guys and I will show you how to do it all you see uh, we have one soldering ball on the surface of other so so now yeah so this soldering ball comes from anywhere from ninth dimension and we need to pull it off so goodbye soldering ball see you into the ninth dimension okay just perfect just a little bit cleaning and it's all so the processor will be excellent let's remove some debris from the surface of it and that's all so the final stage before the reboiling I mean before the soldering process is to clean up the surface you will you don't need to make any other moves
So you see the less and less debris on the surface. And all the balls, the soldering balls are nice and shiny. So So now we are ready to install the processor on its place. So you see there are all contacts on the surface of motherboard and of Nintendo Switch. Motherboard are nice and shiny too, so I just clean it up with my soldering iron uh, and with the special tool uh, for the surpluses of uh, soldering. So now uh, you just need to uh, put your processor in a, into the right place. You see a lot of contacts, so the, like hundreds of contacts there, and if you will install it in a wrong way, it will, uh, uh, like a minimum, it will not work. Like maximum, it can burn out your motherboard. So you will need to buy a new one or just sell your Nintendo Switch for parts. Because some things like with a Barnet processor and some other chip is not uh, not try to continue the repairment process. So now let's add a little bit flux, a little bit, and from the beginning I'm using my brush, the special <laughs> flux brush, I, how I called it. Uh, but then you will need your own finger to clean it up from surpluses of uh, flux because if you will add a, a lot of flux 
on a surface so it will make the bubbles when you will use your hot air gun and those bubbles will move your chip so it will change its position and uh, at the final process final stage it will be soldered in a wrong way so be careful you should be accurate as possible as much as possible with this thing so just add a little bit of flux from the beginning and then use your own finger uh, to clean the the surface of motherboard it's like a microscopic quantity of the flux will be enough to solder it uh, so to solder out the processor on the motherboard so you see it's pretty easy just don't forget to clean up your finger after the process And uh, with uh, uh, chips like a uh, processor of Nintendo Switch, I'm not using the infrared uh, hot hot stations for uh, f to solder the chips because it's pretty small and you will need just your uh, hot air gun with uh, like a temperature like 330 uh, degrees and that's all. So now let's put the processor on its right place. As for me, I'm using the photos in high quality from internet to see how the chip is situated because it's pretty important. As I said before, if you will be not so accurate as you need, you will need to start the process again from the beginning or uh at least and uh, like a maximum uh, you will need to replace your motherboard so now it's almost ready i will take my hot air gun and i will finish the process of reballing so now i'm just will melt down the soldering board uh, balls under the chip and it will be soldered out on its place a little bit more position positioning a little bit yep yep Yeah, and now I think we are done. So eventually I will use my hot air gun and let's heat up uh, the processor. Uh, this is, uh, it will take like uh, around three, four minutes. And then you can check if the processor is situated correctly and if the soldering balls are melted uh, just with your uh, instruments just to 
you need to to move uh, try to move your processor a little bit if it moves so it soldered co correctly if it not moves so no uh, it may be too also correctly soldered but it's better to move it a little bit a little bit is like a half of a millimeter to be confident that all soldering balls are melted and the processor are situated are situated in right place you will see it uh, at the end of this video so I'm using just my tweezers uh, to move the processor but not you see you see the chip are moving uh, this means that soldering balls are melted and the processor now moves to its to its right place so now I will use my tweezers to move the processor a little bit don't apply a lot of force because if you will um, apply uh, the more forces that you need the processor could be just moved out from its place and you will need to uh, make the process of uh, soldering of reballing from the beginning so be accurate So we are done, let's allow the processor to cool down and then let's try to install the more board, motherboard into your Nintendo Switch and try to turn it on, hope it will turn on. So as I see the all good, so let's cool down the motherboard, let's install, I think you already know how to install the motherboard inside your uh, Nintendo Switch Lite so let's just install it and try so this is repair it I hope repair it console with installed chip so it still lacks some of its uh, parts but that's not a problem because we just need to turn it on and to see if it will start start uh, starts up And yes, it turns on. And sound, vibration, sensor, all works. So perfect. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you uh, like it. And if yes, so please subscribe to my channel. It's pretty easy to subscribe. I will add some more interesting videos in the nearest future. In the nearest weeks so please subscribe my channel and see you in next videos if you will like i can add some more uh, videos about the nintendo switch for example how to uh, force it to uh, use the free games with special software uh, with special hard modification hardware modification so subscribe and see you guys.